So now let us come back and start with the next set. The same thing again. I am using the same ethylamine and we are seeing further three more reactions. So now same story. You are taking alkyl halide. You are adding silver nitrate. You are getting nitrobenzene. One reduction is giving ethylamine. Now to this ethylamine, if I am going to, if in the exam, if they give you such reactions. Right. Now simple. This is your chloroform and there is a difference between, please see, there is a difference between CHCl3 and CH3Cl. What of difference? This is chloroform, this is methyl chloride. Now what is this compound? Chloroform. <coughs> CHCl3 is chloroform. Now in chloroform, if you are in the presence of a base, potassium hydroxide, strong base. Now this, if you are treating amines with chloroform and potassium hydroxide, that particular reaction is called carbylamine reaction. Remember that. Or it can also be called as Hoffman's isocyanide test or iso isocyanide reaction. Okay. Let's see again. Whenever you see chloroform combination with KOH, Yes, that's also called, this reaction also is called carbyl amine test or reaction. What do I, how do I write in words? In carbyl amine reaction, okay. When a primary amine, okay, let us write that also. How do I, how should I write? Carbyl amine reaction or test. Now, what is happening? When primary amine is treated with chloroform what is chloroform co formula <coughs> chcl3 and a base and a base here we are going to take koh yes so three moles i have taken koh yes it forms an offensive smelling compound offensive smelling compound that is isocyanide that reaction is called carbylamine okay I'll, now I like I'll also explain you the carbylamine reaction as of now simple remember <coughs> this when it is treated with chloroform KOH nothing to do <coughs> write the whole thing like this okay let me write it as R for you better NH2 will turn into a compound called NC which is a uh, uh, bidentate both the sides it can form C you know and C because it is a bidentate like that it's getting attacked to a highly electronegative nitrogen atom so this is called isocyanide compound or carbylamine reaction along with that you have three uh, potassium this isn't it now three will come out as three KCl and water molecules will come out as three water molecules once again, amine, when you see with chloroform and KOH, convert amines to isocyanide compounds. This is called carbylamine test. Amine to NC. Amine to NC. So once again, somewhere you'll remember NH2 to NC is carbylamine test. Along with the KCL in water. Done. Now what should we do? Now I am going to take the same amine and in the paper if it is given as HCl, okay, what to do? Don't get confused, nothing to do. With HCl they are going to form salts. What salt? Just see. Now CH, so just take this HCl, add to this. CH3, CH2, N. Now NH2 plus H becomes NH3, Cl plus N minus. What is this compound? You have two carbons, isn't it? So, N ethyl ammonium chloride. Again, N ethyl, a place to write, I'm just explaining N ethyl ammonium chloride. Now, suppose instead of primary uh, amine, if I have, okay, I, instead of this compound, now I have okay, carbyl amine done. Primary amine, um, this is uh, my ammonium sol, uh, chloride salt done. Instead of primary, if I have a uh, secondary amine let us see now c2 h5 c2 h5 and nh i'm going to add hcl okay to this same story isn't it now this becomes c2 h5 taken twice nh2 cl done now what happens if you don't have any hydrogen group for tertiary see what's going to happen this whole thing i'll write it as three times 
it's going to form then two it's going to add to this h and form cl nh cl minus so tertiary ethyl ammonium chloride same this is primary that is ethyl ammonium chloride secondary ammonium chloride tertiary ethyl here secondary ethyl so tertiary ethyl ammonium chloride so it's going to form an addition compound converting into salts with hcl okay so amine basic acid combination forming a salt so remember this reaction this is a second set of reactions